Oh, right, Probab- there, yeah. Probability of seizures. Oh, God. Fucking long-term memory loss, 62%. And Peter's but like, it, maybe oh, take this God. off for a minute. But again, like, if you no, gave no. that to somebody who couldn't walk, mm-hmm. what are the odds that they wouldn't want to take it off? Oh, yeah, exactly. say, like, you're in a wheelchair, Lucas. Everything has you, or you, like, and I think it was specifically it's for people Fortune who were in a wheelchair who could walk. Point. Yeah. And you gave them, like, oh, yeah, here's the ability to walk again, but it comes with these massive risks. And it's like, I think I'll take the risk, thank you. Mm. And obviously that would be dependent on the person. But clearly this is something that is eating away at Otto's mind. And I hate that thing. Like We talked about it in the last session, didn't we? Have We hate how it is, oh, the arms are making you crazy instead of he just doesn't want to take them off. Yeah, Please. because he's so scared of like you know losing, um, like keeping his mind, but losing his ability to utilize his mind. And I, I think this is more, right. um, the case of like a mixture of everything. Whereas like Spider-Man Two, the movie mm-hmm. went full on. Oh no, the chip's broken and the arms control you now. We're close. And, and then have, like, he has that moment of them. like at the end of, oh, what have I done? And it's like, no, like, the arms aren't controlling him. He's just a psychopath. Go. Yeah, he, like, Go. he is a narcissist. Are you sure you're okay? But I really do like this take on Art Tavis. I love the idea that um, he yeah. uses them because he's, like, losing the ability to move. Thank That's you. a yeah. really interesting idea, and it reminds me a bit of, um, like, an idea I heard okay. for Two-Face, of how interesting would the character of Two-Face be if instead of, like, being half his skin melted, if he had, like, a stroke... Oh, uh, okay. So, like, yeah. one side of his body just stopped working. And yeah. have that as the idea. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, okay. Like, it's an interesting interpretation of a character. Yeah. I'll turn it back on. Oh, no. And then the other one I like is, um, I think me and you have talked about it before, mm-hmm. um, how you bring the X-Men back. Yeah. The X-Men, uh, Magneto in specifically, is uh, a character who is just so, you have like, no linked. Idea to World War II and the Holocaust, because that's where he like, came from. Hmm. But it is harder and harder to believe that someone from that era would even still be alive and walking around yeah. without shenanigans ensuing. Exactly. So the idea of I've had is because, the if people don't know, the X-Men comic books were directly inspired by the civil rights movement, the nascent civil rights movement at the time, hmm. and to the point where um, Professor X and Magneto are directly inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and their philosophies on, um, uh, like, how to solve like you know the race problem in America, uh, as it, which is weird, because then you have like um, Charles Xavier, Professor X, is based on Martin Luther King, but Magneto isn't. His Magneto is based on Malcolm X, which I just found a bit weird in regards to their philosophies. And I thought, oh, like fast forward the timeline for the X Men, so it's set in the 60s, and make it so Magneto and Professor X are black. And that's, oh, okay, where yeah. Mag- and that's where Magneto that suffered um, the injustice that I you know, made him resent humanity. Yeah, because a lot of people say that um, the whole like Auschwitz thing is intrinsic to his character, but it's only intrinsic to the fact that it makes him hate humanity, yeah. And as well, like I said, the whole impetus for the X-Men was the civil rights movement, so that's not even that big a stretch. No, it's and not, then, it's not. And then you get away with you don't have to hire a, a, a 70, 60-year-old actor and pretend they're 100. Mm. You can get someone who's like 60, so you could get like, you know, a 50 year old actor and just say they're like 70, but they look quite young. Yeah, because, like, bear in mind, you have to try and pretend like somebody who is still a super villain and like getting in fights with these enemies is like 90 years old at yeah, this point. Yeah, because they'd have to have been a young child, but like still old enough to remember everything, so like maybe 10. When like World War Two was happening, so 1940, so they'd be like, yeah, that's at least 80 years since then, so they'd be about 90. So they'd literally have to be a 90 year old having like battles with the likes of Wolverine and Cyclops, which could work. You could have like, like, because obviously Magneto uses mind to use powers. It's not like he, he's physically punching people, but he still has to probably take a few hits. But I just really like that idea of, like, you translate it to make it just a more direct parallel to what the comics were originally inspired by. Yeah. And that way, the idea we had is, like, oh, who'd you get for Press Rex? Lance Reddick. Mm-hmm. If people don't know who Lance Reddick is, he is Sharon, or the concierge from John Wick. 
And I reckon he could be a really good press I mean, X. like, not that it really matters, but he's also the voice actor for Zavala in Destiny. Fuck yeah. I love and I'm friend. just like, yeah. And the fact that he plays, like, the, um, the Vanguard, who's, like, the leader of the Titan class. And it's like, oh, do you play as a Titan in Destiny? And he's like, no, I play as a Warlock. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you don't even play as the own class that you've Doesn't play as... Look at this, though. Fucking too right. We run this oh, city. That's so cool. The city is safe, thanks to fucking Spider-Man. Let's go. And I am really impressed by the fact that, like, yeah, you can stand up here and look at all of that without very much fog or draw distance, really. Ah. And I love that you go so far that it stops working. Yeah, as well, you can see that he's connecting to the air. Yeah. You, go, you go past where he connects, which means he's yeah. pulling himself off the clouds. You know he could do it. He could. He's Spider-Man. Yeah, I really like that idea because we had that conversation with like the only criteria you have for Professor X is that he's got to be a guy who doesn't mm. look stupid bald. Yeah. Because like James McAvoy, bald, looks really weird. Whereas Patrick Stewart, yeah, he's bald anyway, so fuck it. Mm -hmm. And there's a really great story about when um, X-Men was being cast. The fan casting was Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart don't fucking know about comic books. He never read them when he was a kid. And the story goes that someone came into like, an interview him and asked him about it. Like, no, I've not heard about this. And they pulled out an X-Men comic with Professor X on the front. And Patrick Stewart looked at it and went, what am I doing on a comic book? <laughs> and just like, the first went, exactly. Do you think you'd be good for it? And went, I'll keep it in mind. Oh, fair. I just like the idea, what am I doing on a comic book? Yeah. Oh. It just feels so fun. And like, Patrick Stewart's just like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but it sounds pretty cool. And I and love got... how much they... Like, um, Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, like, really loved being those characters. Oh, they did, yeah. Like, um, Ian McKellen was asking them to make another one. Like, he accidentally spoiled the end of Logan, um, like, during an interview. She's like, oh, can I make it, like, I know you're dead, but can you make another one? And spoiled it live in an interview. And, like, Patrick Stewart's like, I'm not supposed to tell anyone I'm dead yet. It's a huge spoiler. <laughs> but clearly, he must have told, like, Ian McKellen that he dies in the film. But Ian McKellen just says, oh, I know you're dead, but can you bring it back and do another one? Because oh. I'd really like to do another X-Men movie with you both. Because he's good friends with Hugh Jackman. Uh, yeah, and like, Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart are good friends as well. Yeah, in real oh, life. Yeah. And there's those great things you see where, um, uh, in newspapers who don't know that they're just really good friends, keep thinking they're gay. So yeah. when it was uh, Patrick Stewart officiated Ian McKellen's wedding, but some news sites got it wrong, thought they were getting married. Oh, and Patrick really? Stewart's like, I oh, don't mind, because he's a good mate. Yeah. These demons. It's like, I, I love that. I've just, um, there's always the the comments, like, even me and you have had it, especially on stream. Yeah, when I, we were, I'll like, sitting in the same room. It's like, you guys spend a lot of time together. I was like, yeah. yeah. Like, we're friends. Luke, and Luke. I don't care if anyone wakes, wants to assume Luke. that, because it's just like, I'm not into it. Luke, I just drag him all the way over yeah, to me. God, Very slowly, brutal. just drag him over. Like, he's, like, every time, he's like, I think I've got away this time. We're going to overwhelm those Sable agents. Sorry, guys. Kind of got a see something, do something code. That's me. Oh, God. Yeah, let's go see Miles. Like, he really back. does have a see something, say something. Or Except say, when it's a, a See a something, do sold. something. Yeah, I fucking love this. Let's go. Oh, no, I need to change. We'll see what happens now. Take well, maybe we out. can... Um, when we come back to being Spider-Man, we can, like, change it up again. Change it up for the next recording session. Well, this is pretty cool. It's like, I don't hate it, but I, at the same time, I don't like it. There are other yeah, suits I, I'd rather I like, like it, apart from the weird, like, eyes. Peter. But I think hey, I'd like okay. the suit otherwise. Something I saw about this, though, is a neat detail will be, depending on what suit you're wearing, to change the colour of your shirt. People need help. Well, that would be cool. If like, if you're wearing, like, a black so um, uh, suit, you wear, like, a darker shirt. So but, Carl, like, do you really think red, Peter Parker can reasons. afford one, more than one shirt? <laughs> no, he has one shirt. <laughs> Considering he leaves, like, bags of clothes all around us, he must smell so bad. Oh, yeah, he must. Then again, he doesn't sweat. Spider-Man not sweat? It's not that he doesn't sweat, it's that he, like, obviously he has basically so, unlimited stamina, so he doesn't actually physically exert it. himself ever. Oh, it's oh like right, him yeah, swinging yeah. across the city at half the speed of sound is the equivalent of us walking. It's, 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 and you don't yeah. get sweaty walking, do you? True. Honestly, what was a hot day? That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. 
Because it reminds me a little bit of the other Future Foundation suit. Oh, sure. Like mm. a little Especially detail about that watch. when I think it's Mr. Fantastic gives so, him it. It says, also, I know how much you like to get into fights with, um, you know, street criminals. So this suit is self-cleaning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they specifically make the Future Foundation suit self-cleaning because they know how much Spider-Man gets into random fist fights. Because how stupid would it look if he's like, just turned through like New York City in a bunch of fights and chasing cars and the, the white suit Peter? is yeah, just still perfectly white. And he's like, oh no, it's perfectly white because it cleans itself. And you can get away with that because Mr. Fantastic invented it. Which yeah. is also the canon explanation for a couple of years about why the Hulk's trousers never ripped. Uh, um. Stan Lee got asked, uh, why do the Hulk's trousers always stay on and why are they always purple? Um, he, in a, a fan letter in like the 80s or something, and he mm. responded, and obviously because he's Stan Lee, anything he says becomes canon. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Mr. Fantastic made you some special trousers that don't rip. Oh, okay. <laughs> in case he hulks out, and he wears them underneath his other outfits. Right, that's fair enough. Captain like, you can always write off stuff like that by just... Yuri, where yeah, Reed comics. Richards. Tell me when you get this. Yeah, like, yeah, Richards. Tony Stark did it. Like, why would he not do him a favour? Still secure. But, um, the demons yeah, the one issue I have with this suit this is the fact that the eyes wrap all the way around. Yeah, they just look a little bit silly. And it's like, if they'd just been, like, the nice, sleek, like, sleek little flick, I would quite like this suit, but... But, yeah. It's like, I don't hate the suit, but at the same time, like, there are better options. So, any ones you want to put on? While we go do this truck mission? Um, well, if we're going around with trucks, let's put our hoodie on. Let's put Scarlet Spider on. Let's do it. Yeah, back to the original. There's also as well like the homemade suit from uh, Fat Man. That's love it. Uh, yeah, I like that one as well. Do you know what? Let's go with the Ben Riley one because that is very clear like a nod to the Ben Riley suit. Well, it is the Scarlet Spider suit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And it's um the Scarlet Spider suit, but like they've textured it a bit more, I think. Hmm. But it looks really fucking cool, and that's one of my favourite all-time Spider-Man suits. Like one of the redesigns that he took. Like the black suit is untouchable in terms of, of like course, how iconic yeah. it is, but like mine are up there with its uh, Future Foundation suit because of how clean it is. Yeah. And I'm not the biggest fan of the Scarlet Spider one, but I um, let's just try and find it on here actually. Like my fa like my favourite like take on the Spider-Man classic. Like, obviously the classic's untouchable. You never fucking get in that. But like, it's the one from this game, which is like the most boring choice ever. But I, I also kind of like the electrically insoluted one, just because of how silly it looks. This yeah, really I'm, grew I'm on not me a big in my fan playthroughs. But it grew on me in my playthroughs in motion, it looks a lot more clean. Oh, okay. It just looks really dumb here because it looks like he's wearing a padded suit. Do you yeah, have the joke Spider-Man costumes where they put like the fake muscles in? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like one of them. And then I'm, I'm also quite a big fan of the Secret Wars suit as well. Again, uh, it's a bit messy, but it grew on me in I just this game. don't like the plasticky look of the blue bits. Mm, which we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Folks, the but the I got to give props to this game for introducing it to some new suits. Well, introducing me to new ones, but putting so many in. Yeah. Because uh, especially you know, nowadays when it's like, oh no, but we could add them all as DLC and stuff. Which you know they would be in another game. And like, yeah, um, during each... Expansion, they added three. So you got nine yeah. new suits by buying the season pass and playing through all that content. Um, but they did also give some like free update, like the Raimi one. Yeah, because people um, kept the bitching about ones. it. Yeah. Do you like accept my headcanon as well? They deliberately made the Raimi suit look just a little bit shitter. Because they game. were pissed off at fans asking for it. It's like we made our own universe and people keep bitching about they want the Raimi suit. Yeah, and it's like, you know what, we'll give it to you, but also a little bit of a fuck you. We're going to make it look just a little bit worse. Uh, it looks like one of the worst outfits in this game. Yeah, it might be the ugliest looking suit in the game. And I'm including the suits I don't like. Because I don't mind the Raimi suit, but it just looks so ugly compared to the In this ones. game, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming in. And maybe it was just a, fine, we'll give it to you, but fuck We're going to make it look a little bit shit. Yeah. Which is what I would have done. If I was working on the yard, I'd 100% done that as a fuck you. Oh... God damn it! Can nobody do anything? The devil's breath is gone, but we've got even bigger problems. Rikers, we have to hurry. Hop oh, on. Fuck's sake! No one could do. I love that. Hop on. What happened if he accidentally got onto the, like the rotor blade? Oh god! Can you imagine that? Whoa! Just like Spider Man's on the fucking rotor blade. How much do you reckon his Spidey sense would kick off? Oh god! You're going ape shit. What about the raft? Should be okay. Not like, really. What about the devil's breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? 
Do you know what I think would be really funny right now? If you just saw the Punisher. It's like, oh, should I go help Riker's Island? And then you see the Punisher coming. It's like, you know what? I reckon he's got it. Yeah. You should have worn your seatbelt. So I just saved that guy's life. Basically, yeah. Yeah. But also, you know, fucking... Nah, to be uh, fair, well, like, I, I don't think, like... Oh, just regular prisoners I'm deserve right. to just be killed by Spider-Man, but... No. J. J. Maybe, James like, the sable life. fucking mercenaries. Lucas, are you ready? You oh, God, Molotov cocktails. Oh, God, no, Carl. You know what? They've got one chance at freedom. This is it. <laughs> this is your one chance. Like, Spider-Man's giving them the chance to escape. If you can, if you can swim... Oh, my God, Lucas, they're just floating. Oh, no. Look at that. They're like, I don't The thing is, them. like, do you reckon that just knocked them out? It's fine now. Oh no, they're all just on water. No, it's fine now. Let's go. It's gonna take a while. But I'm, Lucas, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. Yeah, they're all just treading water. Yeah. I guess they don't want to fight anymore. Oh, just like, this is fine. Just... <laughs> uh, right, guys, I'll be back later. Oh, you know what's happening. Oh, 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 oh my god, <laughs> Lucas. No, Carl. What was that? What you happened? Like, he must have dropped his Molotov as you grabbed him, but then you pulled him through the fire. I'm on the dragon Through force. the fire and the flame, Carl. The dragon force, yes. Yeah. That sounds bad. It means some of the enemies are armed with rocket launchers. Ah, it's yeah, fine. I'm on it. No. You know what? Now, my That's question good. is, it's why did it. anyone need rocket launchers in this facility? Because it's cooking Supermax. Like, in this world, you know shit's gonna get real. No, but this isn't the raft, is it? No, it's not, is it? But it's nearby. It, the raft is nearby, but why would you put a ton of rocket launchers Ooh. at a regular prison? I don't know. It's America. We don't know what they have in these prisons, Lucas. Like, you've seen the shit they have in, like, regular America. This is like superhero New York. Okay, America. like maybe if there's riots, you should have like riot gear, but they shouldn't have like assault rifles and rocket launchers yes. to deal with basically unarmed um, prisoners. Unarmed prisoners, man. Like they might. Oh, but what if they have a shiv? And it's like, oh yeah, rocket launcher versus shiv. That's fair. Like that's a necessary amount of force. Ooh. Oh, onto the ball up. Oh! 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 oh right on the Don't corner. He went so far. I didn't see you put the trip mine, I just saw him go. I was like, where's he gone, Carl? Anyone on this channel? This is Captain Watanabe. Where are you? Electrical access. Top near cell block D. Trying to restore power. That you in the chopper? Affirmative. What happened here? No idea. That's the best one because you know how much that hurts. Oh, oh Lucas. No! Carl, Just, no! And thus end. Look at him. I'm going to die like an absolute boss. Like, woohoo! Flipping off the world. You know what? Let's try. Oh, I, oh, I, was, try, I was hoping to uh, get him into the fire. We can oh. get a good picture out of this, Lucas. <laughs> we can, like, throw someone directly into flames. Did you get really annoyed? I don't know if it came up for you at any point, but going into photo mode while you're healing, you stay in the glow. God, he went so fast. And it really annoyed me because there's a couple of times I was trying to get like combat shots ah, while I, I was healing. And well, Lucas, I just had that stupid like luminescent holographic glow. The answer is get good. The answer is get good, Carl. Just oh! You know what? Fuck him, I don't care. Like, I'm done with you now. Oh god, that guy, that poor guy. It's alright, he's not even landed yet. Oh. Just, Lucas, where is he going? Oh. Doesn't matter, who cares? Oh. Someone's trapped behind that door. <laughs> Just wait for him to land. Oh. Anyone else? Oh, I respect it so much. <laughs> oh. oh no! Lucas. Oh. Did you see the healing like pulling you out of death then? Yeah. Like, uh, you were just on a battle then. Your health bar was trying to um, fight against death. 
who it was. Oh, Lucas, the Gabby. It's Tactic out of trash. Oh no. Oh! He's Don't gone. It's, Lucas is fine. It's not, it's not my problem anymore. Please be more criminal. They're coming. Where is everybody? Uh, you know what, Carl? Close one. Yeah! America. That's the most American thing I've ever seen. Like the police officer like firing the gun into the air. I appreciate that they're just I'll kicking the car. The yeah, no one wants to pull him out. They're just gonna kick his car, they're gonna scare him a little bit. Ah, it's fine, you know what? Let's see if we can get this. <laughs> Let's really scare the warden, because now like, the prison's gonna be attached to his car. That's what makes it funny. It's gonna attach them to his car. I don't think it reached, you know. I think the Tris mine just disappeared in the wind. Ah, it's fine. Go, let him get this, throw a bat on. Bring him up into the air. Bring Oh! I don't know what happened there. Ugh. Just run away, run away. Stick him. Grab him. Yeah, he did, he, did, he did have it on him, Lucas, but we just didn't see it. Yeah. Ugh. You know what? Fuck this, unrelenting fury. Yeah, do it. Spider-Man I'm in the fire. Well, that says to me that at any point Spider-Man Like, Lucas, listen to the noise. It sounds like a fucking car's hitting them. <laughs> it probably is. It's the equivalent. Like, Spider-Man Spider getting pissed off is the equivalent of a fucking car hitting you. Oh! Oh, he's gone. He turned into a ragdoll car. No, can stop it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you know he spits conducting that electricity as well. <laughs> Get out of the car, you pussy. Oh. Unreal 5. Why are they explaining about the big one? It's like, I love how that one time a rocket Ooh. is something to, to oh, I think I got that one absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, you know all the glass shatter. There, Fair place to be guy with a sniper rifle. Try to snipe that uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Good work. Just a few left. Ooh. He did it, Lucas. We all saw it. One absolute pledge. <laughs> huh. fun. Just like he's my plaything. Oh, you thought you'd landed? There we go. One more, go on. Oh! It has to be done. <laughs> oh. Woohoo! Uh, you know what, Yuri? Feel free to step in at any time. I know, right? She's just like, yeah, beat on him, Spider Man. Sleep it off. That was the worst one because he had no choice. Oh, really? For fuck's sake, Yuri! Any time you feel like stepping in. Like how many have we taken out and the police can't handle also, the Also, fucking hell. This is ridiculous. This is... I remember earlier in the game where Spider-Man couldn't stop a helicopter. <laughs> oh. oh, he dodged them. Oh, that poor guy. Just throw him into the rotor blade. <laughs> yeah. License registration, please. Oh, God, it's fine. Don't worry. I was half expecting okay. that to explode. Looks like things are somewhat under Weirdly enough, Carl, things Look don't actually explode. Look at that power shot. Oh, for fuck's sake. It was. 